This is just incredible. A developer was capable of building an entire 3D editor using Bolt.nu and Natural Language. It's powered by React, 3.js, as well as Brapier Physics Engine. It features post-processing effects with Bloom. You have pixelation. You have the ability to save and load data states, as well as dynamic, static, physics, and much more. Saying that this is incredible is an understatement because this is a fully fledged full stack application where you have the ability to use this 3D editor and it's something that is fully functional and it gives you a lot of flexibility to work with this web based editor. This was all capable with the help of Bolt.new. For the people who do not know, Bolt.new is an application developed by StackBlitz. It's a platform that combines AI with full development environments and it lets you build and deploy full stack apps with ease. It supports tools like NPM, you have Byte, Next.js, and it lets you use natural language to prompt, edit, and deploy code all for free. I'll be completely honest, we've showcased multiple different full stack development tools, but we don't further detail all the different measures that are needed to create the full environment of a full stack app. Which is why today I'm here to showcase how you can do this with Bolt.new and especially with their new updates. Well, you may be wondering, what is this new update? Well, they've integrated Supabase into Bolt.new, which now lets you fully support true full stack development, where it brings authentication, where you can set up user login, sign up, and even manage all of that without any sort of hassle of connecting other APIs. You have a database where you have built-in database capabilities for storing and querying app data. And lastly, you also have file storage with the help of Subabase, where you can easily handle a file upload and storage directly from your application. With all of these new features added to Bolt.new with the help of Subabase, it creates a complete development stack, which is why today I'm gonna to be showcasing how you can build true full stack apps with Bolt.new with this new additional feature. Plus, you also have the ability to request Relay in Bolt.new, where it lets your app connect to APIs like OpenAI, Anthropic, or even Notion without any sort of issues. So it's going to enable, uh, by default, removing the need for proxy setups, and it's going to make API integration quite seamless. So let's get started. What I want you guys to do is head over to Bolt.new's website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on Get Started and sign up with an account. Also, just an FYI, this is the original Bolt.new application, not the fork that we had covered multiple times on the channel that was developed by Cole, who is a famous renowned YouTuber. But essentially, this open source project also even got a new update, and it has been rebranded to Bolt.diy, and it has actually gotten a full-on partnership with StackBlitz itself, and it has a correlation with the original company. But now, essentially, this project is going to work on its own side tasks alongside with the original Bolt.new project. So let's test this out and build our full stack application. What I essentially am going to have it build is a full stack app, which is a task management app with the following features of user authentication, a dashboard to add, edit and delete tasks, task categories, a database to store user tasks and file upload for task attachments as well as a responsive design so let's go ahead and send this in and let's have it build upon this request that we have right away we can see that it's working on initializing a plan where it uses ai agents to build a plan to build this out you can see all the edits being made in line and then you have a template of a project that has been developed it will execute and install dependencies within your terminal and you're going to be able to see a preview once it has finished completing this generation. But essentially, we can see that it's working on creating the essentials for this application. And there we go. We have our first iteration of our Taskmaster app. So it looks like it has built a couple of different categories for us to track our different tasks. And we have the ability to add tasks. So it looks like it has built the first functionality of this application and what we're going to be doing throughout this video is iterating on it further and having it linked to Supabase to create that full stack application the great thing with bolt is that you can automatically deploy your application with a single click so in this case you can click on deploy and you can see your site has been successfully deployed so now i can go ahead and visualize it within this deployed app and it has been able to do this with netlify so that was super quick with a single click of a button of just simply clicking on deploy. 
Now, I really should have read this through, but you can only access this new Subbase integration with this new Subbase beta link. So now what I'm going to do is send in the exact same prompt that I sent in originally to this new Subbase link that was provided so that I can access the integration within it. So let's go ahead and send it in and let's see what it's capable of generating with this new integration. So let's send it and let's restart fully again. And there we go. We can see that now we can connect this up base with this connection node. So let's go ahead and connect this up base so we can set this up. So we can simply go ahead and click on this and then we can authorize the request to stack blitz so that they can start making changes such as reading and writing auth configurations. So you don't even need to go into the configuration files and do it yourself. So we can see it's connecting to both and it has successfully been connected. So now what you can do is you can automatically close this window and it's going to go ahead and create the project within Subbase itself. So there we go. We now have this new revised login and authentication that fully works where you can now go ahead and sign up. To showcase this works, I've already went along and created an account and verified my email and uh, we're going to go ahead and sign in and we're going to be then sent over to the Taskmaster application. Now I know it needs a lot of work so we're going to go ahead and improve this even further. So here is another iteration of this Taskmaster app. In this case the top bar doesn't seem to be looking too well but it has now started to work on the main dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and make it replace this and add a couple of different packages. And with this subbase integration we can see that it has even created a database where it will store our user uh, data as well as having authentication fully set up so here we go here is a cool iteration of this taskmaster app which is fully functional we have total tasks that you can see pending in progress and completed you have a dark mode you have a calendar in which you can visualize all your tasks and then you also have the ability to obviously sign out and then log back in with the account that you had created so the authentication has been fully set it has been linked to a database and we're going to be able to easily add new tasks. So let's say our task is to create a YouTube video. We can do that. We can say the description is to create on bolt.new. Add a category. There's no category yet. So I'm going to need to actually set that. And then you can add a date. And essentially you can go ahead and click on create task. And then once you have finished creating your application, you can obviously deploy it and then you can even have it connected to Netlify. So this is easily how you can create a full stack application with authentication, with the database linked, with the help of Subbase, and then having the ability to have Bolt.new create and configure everything that is essential within your application. Now, this is just a super simple to-do list application. You can even make this better and more intricate like the one that we saw before with this 3D cube editor. And this is essentially the capability that you get with Bolt.no. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's essentially how you can use this new Bolt.new update for you to easily create full stack applications from the ground up. And this is essentially something that I'm going to keep on making more videos on so that you can easily build any sort of application you want with all of these tools that we use today. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions like Lovable, which is a free subscription that we're giving out this month completely for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with free AI news daily. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.